something then that something must be beyond the discipline and that which you're talking to you're talking about which you refer to as needing discipline to get to that must be effortless in itself you said it yourself you say what is meaning that it's unsupported it's not being moved by something else it's by itself and i'm trying to find out if you are separate from that even now even with all that's going on in the mind confusion and all these ideas are you that or not you see and do you have a choice to be that or not to be that this is really the questions i wanted to put you see and i feel that it should be a lovely discovery for you because <laughs> i don't want you to put extra energy for something that you already have you see and so my feeling is that it's worth pursuing we can look at what comes up and gets in the way apparently we can look at all of these things but i have a feeling that uh, this is a real opportunity for okay. it's far more i was going to say easier but this is even beyond easy this is what you're searching for is beyond easy what makes it seem like it's difficult or easy is this continuing and persistent idea that there's a you who must do something to get that which this feeling is so deeply rooted inside our being you see but this feeling was not original this feeling that you have to do something to become what you really are it's not original to you it came later we picked it up because even before this feeling came you were in such a beautiful unicity you're not even aware of yourself <laughs> but as soon as you became aware of yourself and they start to tell you that you know listen you got to do this and you know you are you're a boy and then you start to pick up all these things you start to identify with this body and as soon as the consciousness came somehow it pulled the attention outward this is the the power of the consciousness as soon as it arises it seems to engage the attention to go out you see and so we started to trade in the world of the out and that which watches this world of the out is completely unconcerned about it does even call it a world of outer because even the mind is calling it outer and inner in fact there is no such thing let me say can i say something ruthless about it? because none of it is real is it? I just want to say that I don't want to ask anybody to believe me I just have to just get it out of my system to get on fire a little bit okay none of it is real this entire mind play once you wake up and you touch the eye everything is real does it mean it's nasty terrible let's throw it away no 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 it's simply that it's an illusion it's not stable you didn't do it you're not the one who's responsible for it no single human being through our entire history of human existence have done anything at all human beings are the they are the effects of consciousness not the cause i wonder if you follow me what i'm saying if we really understood this thing, Yeah. I just you say we, we are not creators. Okay, this is very good. We are some creators. Mm. But the very creating that you think you're doing you're like a puppet making another puppet. Mm. Okay? You're like a puppet that is 
hammering a nail. Okay? But something is moving this puppet. You see? It's like that. The supreme power created also this instrument in order to play it at appearing to work. It's creating through each each created unit. It seems to be continually creating. Yes. What would I? Uh, would it be possible for me then, with the idea I would quite like to be a puppet, to lead, to have this this supreme consciousness flowing through me constantly? It is doing. That's. It's no yeah. other way you can be. Yes. There's no other. You don't have an option. Even to think you know. Do you think even when when I when I'm like. Uh, um, when I'm in doubt, when you know what I mean, when I'm torn about things, do you think that's still? Do you know what I mean? I'm talking. Sometimes everything just flows, and you know that you're at the top, and everything is perfect. And other time, it's not. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I like this point. Can I say something? Please. If you are not the doer of your actions. Let's assume, I'm not telling you, I'm not teaching you this, we're just playing a bit. If you're not the doer of your actions, something is making you do that. As for what you are, we'll, talk, we'll tackle that in a minute, okay? But something is playing through this body, okay? And it plays sometimes like this and sometimes like that. Sometimes it manifests beautifully and everything is wonderful. It's beautiful, it's like you're walking through the Red Sea, everything is like this, and you feel, wow, wow, I'd like to stay like this. That's it, that's what I wish to stay. Yeah, yeah. Is it possible to be like that? Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Is it? I'm asking yeah. because I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on it, but sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. okay, you, who is working on it, yeah. will have to get over. And how do I get out of the way? I want to tell you. I want to tell you. I'm very excited. It does. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> this you that you consider yourself to be mm. is only the you that is being dreamed in the real you. Just, I don't want to go too fast. If you understand, I'm happy to repeat something, especially like this. You who feel that you would like to do something to stabilize this, you know, because sometimes we just hit the button, you know, and whoa! Can't get any better. Yeah, it cannot get any better. You know? And something just wants to perpetuate this, this condition. It's beautiful. You know? To think of somebody in there, you know, everything is like this. We like this state. It's a pleasant state. And if only this state could go on, we wouldn't even care about enlightenment. You know, this is enough, isn't it? But this is not it. I just want to say. That's what I mean. I yeah. wouldn't crash otherwise. Even if you didn't crash, it's still not it. I want to tell you why. Everything that you experience, that these things, there are states. They come and go. It is you who know of the enjoyment of them or the lack of enjoyment of them. You see, something witnesses that, you know, I, I like this. Something says, I like this. And, oh, no, I don't like this, okay? And this I that we, that seem, we seem to be speaking from, I really like this. You know, yesterday was, you know, 10 out of 10. Today is, you know, it's slowing down, okay? Something that watches this would like to express some preference to say, you know, I prefer yesterday than today. This thing which we identify with, this sense of I, is not your true I, not your true state. How do I get to it? You're already there. If you understand that the, your very I, the, the feeling that you say, you know, I like and I don't like. This I like and I don't like, no one questions it. You take yourself to be this I. Okay? Mm. This I is an aspect of yourself. It is based though upon a lot of limitations, conditioning, habit, tradition, education. It's all manifesting in that one. Okay? It's a kind of composite identity. It is the image you have of yourself. It's your self-image. The idea you have of yourself. And all have it, all sentient beings. We have a sense of who we are. Our culture, our conditioning, create a sense of who you think you are, your identity. But your identity is not what you are. Can I throw that away or should I make up an identity? No, let me no, stay no. Already? no, no. You just need to... Listen to me.
So this identity that is being watched, my question is, by what is it being watched? And I don't want the answer so quickly. Use the question. Obviously, something is aware of the identity. You don't usually look at your identity because you assume it to be already a fact. 